Hello again, it's Cindy Royal with the Web Design class, and this video is going to talk about adding lists and tables to your HTML page. If you had looked at my content previously on this page, in the section where I talk about music, I say that um, some of the bands that I liked, and I had them in a paragraph. Well, now I'd really like to represent them in a list. So in the paragraph, I have pulled out where I said what my favorite bands were, and I created a new paragraph that says my favorite bands are, and then under that I'm creating a list. And we're just sort of jumping in right here because I feel like you have a general sense of what's going on, and I'll just describe the tags that I've already created. So to create a list, you have two kinds of lists. You have unordered list or ordered list. We'll do an unordered list first. The unordered list tag is UL, and we're going to be nesting tags. So we're going to start with the opening UL and the closing UL. Do that first. And then within the UL, we're going to add list items. We can have as many lists as we want. And each one of these list items, because it's in an unordered list, is going to be bulleted. So I'm opening and closing my LI tag and surrounding the names of my three favorite bands, Wilco, Spoon, and Old 97s. So I'm going to save this page. It's already saved. And I'm going to refresh. And you'll see at the bottom of the page, I have a list here that says Wilco Spoon and Old 97s with bullets. If I wanted to create a rank order for these bands, I love them all equally, but just for the sake of demonstration, I could turn this into an ordered list that will put one, two, three next to them instead of bullets. So I'll save that, refresh the page, one, two, three for my favorite bands. And then another way that we can delineate the page and put a little bit of structure around some of the data we're putting in the page is by using tables. So here I have created a table, and in this table I'm going to have my favorite movies and my favorite TV shows. So I created a paragraph that says here are my other favorite entertainment options, closing the paragraph tag, and table has three nested tags. It starts with the table tag opening and closing, and then I'm going to have three rows, rows going across, and each row is going to hold one movie and one TV show. So table row is TR, and I'm opening and closing. I'm going to have three rows and then two items within each row. TD stands for table data. So my first movie is Lost in Translation. My first TV show is The Daily Show. Then my second movie is Boyhood. And my second TV show is The Colbert Report. And the um, third movie is Swingers. And the third TV show is Mad Men. So let's save this and... I will come over here and show what this looks like now. And we have sort of a table here. You can see how things are aligning. There are some ways that we can adjust this. First of all, we might want to put some sort of a heading here so we know what we're even talking about. So we can create a new row at the top of the table with an opening and a closing TR. And if we wanted to, we could add two more TDs for the top of the um, headers of the columns, but there's a special tag called table header, TH, that will actually just automatically bold it for you. So my first header is for movies, and my second header will be TV shows. So I'll save that and refresh the page. And now you can see that these are bolded and centered across the top. I would probably like to actually see the borders of this table. So I'm going to add a border. Border is an attribute of the table tag. And I'll just make a one pixel border. Again, putting all your values in quotation marks and making sure you close your quotation marks. So refresh that. So that gives us some delineation. I'm not really pleased with the width of this table right now. So for now, I'm going to put a width on the table. And again, it's pixels, so I'll say 300 pixels, and we'll just see how that looks and see if it's what we want. And so that spreads it out a little bit. If we wanted to make it a little bit bigger, 400 pixels, spread that out a little bit. And then we're starting to see how the table can be delineated with headers, um, with borders, and with items within the table rows. It may take a little getting used to the actual HTML that goes with a table, and it can get very confusing when you do things like merge 
table cells. Um, tables are generally used now just for data and for showing things the way I'm showing you here. You may find some sites that you'll be asked to work on that are old sites and they actually use tables to lay out a page. If you can imagine a grid on a web page that would have a logo, navigation, and the content of the page, it's easy to see how people use tables to do that. Uh, now we have other tools to do that that give you much more control through CSS and different ways to do layout so you would not use a table to lay out a page in the future. So that's lists and tables. In my next video I will talk about creating additional pages for your site and creating some navigation strategies so users can go between your pages.